Why sell on my neck, bitch? High as hell when I'm moving on the next bitch. Charlie says she from the south, she from Texas. She said when you ask in town, send a message. I just wanna put some rocks on my necklace. Bitches drowning in so rock with they best friends. I'm just in the field grinding with my brethren. Do it big, bring that old school back then. Go and give me the loot, and I know I'm what to do. Frozen neck. Good morning guys, today is Friday. I think today is the 10th of May. Um, well, I just, um, I just finished doing my first workout for um, my physical therapy on the road to getting better from lymphedema. If you've watched my last vlog, which actually I need to post pretty soon, so hopefully you watched it. Um, but I um, just need to do some of the, the wordings and I will be able to publish it. It's a little bit late today um, for Aloha Friday. Oh, it's Aloha Friday today. <laughs> but um, I woke up an hour early, you know, did my morning routine and... Um, as you've seen in the clips before, I um, struggled to do some of the most simplest um, stretches, which, you know, to be honest, I used to be very flexible growing up because I was um, in color guard and all those things. Um, and then I even did some other... Anyways, so I am on the road to being flexible again. I realized that and some of the exercises that they have prescribed to me um which i only showed you just a glimpse of it because i actually needed to go downstairs to sit in a, a regular chair to do some of the other exercises um millie is very distracting when it came to trying to do any of these she's thinking like oh what's going on let's play let's play so you've seen a little bit of that and even when i was doing my chair exercises I same thing she's like oh is it time to play and then she was just like over it. after a while she realized I'm not playing with her she was like sitting on my side of the couch like this at me <laughs> so now um I just fed her you know took her to go to potty and now I'm just going to finish um all like the rest of the little bits and bobs that I need to do to replay to post the aloha friday vlog for today i know that um vlogs on my channel aren't you know one of the more items that gets views however i'm at this point where i do want to document my life because y'all life is short and with all the scares that i've had in the last year and a half now i I want to at least leave something on, you know, the internet so in case, you know, something was to happen, people can still watch me even though I'm not here and I'm hoping and I'm saying these things because you never know, you know, even though I hope that I live for decades and decades and decades more, you know, I that's just what it is <laughs> so i'm gonna edit and um post this aloha friday vlog but i hope you guys have an amazing weekend because i don't think i'm gonna be vlogging for the rest of the day because i am actually going to work um pretty soon but gosh these vlogs are just getting so emotional anywho i will see you guys later and catch up with you guys bye Hi guys, it is Monday the 13th of May. It is Miss Millie's birthday and we did have a plan to take her places, get her her cake and stuff like that, but the weather is not that great. If you heard the birds chirping, maybe it's a little bit better now. It doesn't sound like it's raining, but weather is supposed to be really bad. 
but because the weather's bad i am trying to dress all in black so if i get wet you won't know and i'm gonna do a bag swap but you guys had seen me sw uh, switch into my boy bag it is because it is raining pretty terribly um i am going to switch into another bag that i haven't worn in a very long time which is not really a bag but i did like a little cheat neighbors I love to do construction when I film. I apologize for that. But this little bucket bag that I did a hack for, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will post it up above because the price, so good. I do not have any more. I used to have Prada wallets. I don't anymore, so I'm just gonna continue to use my Chanel little zip wallet here. key fobs um i left my other key downstairs my louis vuitton 4 key so i'm gonna have to skip that in this bag swap touchland airpods and my lippy that's going in as well this little nano fits so much oh god the neighbors are so annoying annoying me since day one since they moved in jesus christmas gum and just some other lippy things and some medicine i really need to be better and i just need to put them away because as you can see the soft trunk's still here and then now the couch is home to my boy bag hopefully only today I actually have a insert in here so i sold uh a long time ago i sold my nano speedy the version that had the straps that was not removable so i have the one currently with the removable strap so i took this chain strap from my other prada bag that i have the reissue is that what it called in that lavender color i have and then i have this um bear this porter bear that i bought uh, my friend from japan had bought for me and he brought it back here home and this strap from louis vuitton because if you guys watch my video you guys know that this is more of like a um prada accessory it is not an actual bag but i decorated it to where now it looks like a bag at a fraction of the cost guys I still can't believe it sometimes i feel like i want to buy more but i barely use it anyway and i'm only now using it just to because the weather is not great so i'm gonna find a windbreaker and the only really uh, windbreakers that i have is my louis vuitton one and my fendi one but i feel like the leather the leather the louis vuitton one is going to hold up better in the rain so i guess that's the one i'm gonna wear today and hopefully the weather is a little bit better so we can continue on Millie's birthday festivities. Don't look at me like that. The track like you ain't going crazy for me, baby, you can. I'm fighting all my feelings, but it's hard to get you out of my head. And I should know that it's time to let you go. This could really hurt, but... It is. I found where your venom is, your lips are a dance wish I want to keep you around and show you a specialist Hi guys, so we just picked up some treats for Millie and her friend So she got a birthday cupcake And we got her friends some cupcakes as well 
I'll show it to you guys. We bought her a few different things. So the first thing we got her is these Mala Sadas dog treats. Um, it, it's basically, I think they're coconut covered um, biscuits, which resembles a Mala Sadas. And then um, her dad wanted to get her this pup tart for later. And uh, we got her a happy birthday cupcake in pink. And my husband wanted to get her this five cookie as well since she is five today. As you can see, she's super interested. And then we got her friends um, some cupcakes too. They're individually wrapped, thank goodness. So there is this vanilla cupcake, pup cake. We got a couple of those, and then we also got, I think this is peanut butter. And then this one is peanut butter with carob. And then the other one is, oh, I flipped one over on accident, oops. And then one is, um, I don't remember what this one is. It might be another form of peanut butter as well so there's that and um, I'm gonna give her one of these now I'm very bummed because we since we're in Kailua we thought maybe we could go to boots and chemos you guys know I love to go there especially for their macadamia nut pancakes but we missed it so they're closed now so uh, we're going to our and then I wanted to go to check out this um, Korean restaurant here. It's a kimchi restaurant. It's called kimchi. I've never been here before, but according to my husband's uh, uh, family, it's actually pretty good. But they're also closed on Sundays and Mondays. So, um, now, somebody is watching me film in the car. Um, but now, I, um, our third choice, which was my husband's top choice, was this round table pizza, which is actually really good. I love their garlic twist bread. And here's baby's treat. Let's see if it's Millie approved. Oh, she just drooled on the seat. <laughs> I just came back from Whole Foods and this is take two because I didn't press record. I don't know what is going on with me today. It's probably because I didn't take my rice coffee in like three days. So my focus is probably not there, but I'm just gonna backwards go over this Whole Foods haul. Okay, the only thing that's not gonna be in it is this New York strip steak that we bought just for Millie because it's her birthday dinner today. But here we go, take two, okay? So first thing I got is the wild caught sockeye salmon fillets i just used the last ones recently so we restocked on this one here it's good to have in your freezer you know just for um easy meals um i love furikake salmon so that's that we got more of this veggie stir fry this is also just good to have just in case you need to add in some vegetable. Um, I just made like a salmon stir fry exactly with those two. Some broccoli florets that's gonna go well with the beef uh, for stir fry to make beef broccoli sometime this week. And then I also got these um, brioche wheat buns, which we love. We bought this before, so we got it again. 
to go with these Toronto seasoned burgers. These are actually really good. We bought them before. What we did was one of these huge patties we made into two separate balls so we made smash burgers so it's like a double double but so so good um we do recommend it trimmed green beans as well i have every intention of making garlic green beans because that is so good and maybe with some chili oil got these siggies um lower sugar every cup is about two grams of sugar the one thing that i'm nervous about this is that there's stevia in it um i can now taste the stevia before i couldn't but now i can so i hope i can't in this so it's a little bit easier for me to eat um we got pumpkin puree for miss millie she loves this and it's good for her gut health I got some Ceylon cinnamon. This is the real cinnamon. I plan to put this in my coffee in the morning. My husband likes this organic 365 salsa con queso. The texture is kind of interesting, but the flavor is there. Um, but it actually is still pretty good. Okay. Trying out two new Olipop flavors which is banana cream and this lemon lime um new to me i've only tried the original flavors before this one is my husband and then i wanted to try this banana cream four grams of sugar which is literally like 1 30th of what a regular can of like coke is I think this is pronounced dough, but I've seen ads on these on Instagram. So I wanted to try it because they had it. If you're an Amazon Prime member, they had it on sale. You can eat this cookie dough raw or you can bake it. For one and a half tablespoons, it is um, six grams of sugar, which isn't terrible. You can eat it again raw or you can bake it. I'm gonna try to do both and see how this is. But this was a prime sale got these micro rainbow mix so this is more nutrient dense than leafy greens want to try this and i am so sick of eating um meals where i work at so i'm trying this heat uh, ready to heat meal this is turkey meatloaf with some mashed potatoes and some greens i wish they added more greens because it's like so tiny but i wanted to try this because like i said so sick and tired of eating where i'm at so i've been bringing home lunch for the past like few days now so i'm gonna try this out and then the last couple things that i got is this siete grain free cookies it says fresas con crema which is strawberries and cream i've tried the other ones before my favorite one is the original wedding cookie style with the white powder sugar on it and then i tried the chocolate one i don't know if the strawberries and cream is going to be good but it sounds good um it says uh, about five cookies it's eight grams of sugar so less than two grams of sugar per cookie um however i don't find myself eating too many of these because i feel fine after eating a few um but so far, I've been loving a lot of Siete products. And then the last two is 365, the Organic Golden Flakes and Oat Clusters. I need my cereals in the morning, and I either eat these, this brand or the Cascadian Farms brand. So this, for every cup, is 7 grams of sugar. And they actually taste pretty good as well. And I don't use dairy milk. I use... Um, organic almond or, or or organic oat milk with it so here's that and the last thing is going to be these late july blue corn chips you can find these anywhere i'm sure just in hawaii and everywhere we shop they're always been sold out so we call this the wholesale exclusive not wholesale the whole foods exclusive because now we can only find them there but that is my haul for this Whole Foods. I look a little bit crazy because um, it's been rainy all day. And um, yeah, that's it. All of this costs $175. So we better eat it all. This is Millie's dinner for her birthday. We have New York strip steak, 
uh, chicken, um, pumpkin, some coconut oil, green beans, spinach, carrots, and we topped it off with these salmon skin uh, treats from Trader Joe's. <laughs> Happy birthday, honey. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Okay, okay, okay. Good morning, guys. Today is Wednesday, I believe. Uh, it's almost 10 a.m. And I am now at physical therapy. It's my first day, official day of physical therapy. The last time when I came, it was mainly just to ask questions and, you know, to get to know me better and see what I have to work with. So my physical therapy is about a 30 minute drive in okay traffic. Um, so not terrible, so great that I'm early. I'd rather be early than late. However, so my physical therapy is, the office is kind of near a, like a mini shopping center. And um, yeah, <laughs> people can't drive in these streets, okay? like. The shopping center is already kind of busy. It's 10 o'clock. It's busy. Um, this person is, well, this, this shopping center that my physical therapy is at, it's just, it's kind of a weird shopping center. You can tell that they just kind of added like shops randomly all over the place. So, um, the roads are kind of interesting as well. So like, it's just, it's just really weird. Anyway, so I am trying to drive you know closer to my physical therapy and um this person is just stopped kind of near like there's a starbucks drive through not having a signal they're they don't even have their hazards up nothing and it, they're just sh stopped and i'm just like uh what so the person in front of me who was behind that person drove around so i'm thinking okay so do i need to drive around and Again, this person has no signal, nothing. So we don't know. That person probably just guessed and just went around. So I'm just like, do I go? Do I not? And it's just like, what's what's going on? So then I could see her making like these like signals or whatever. Basically talking shit if I had to assume through her rear view mirror, her side rear view mirror. So I'm just like, fuck it. I'm going to go around her. So I go around her and I'm looking at her and I'm okay, I'm not. I'm probably saying some real. I honestly, I was so annoyed that I, I more than likely had said some shit. Okay, and she probably had said some shit. But like, what do you want us to do, lady? You're in the middle of the fucking road. People need to fucking get to other places, and you have no signal. But yeah, I'm here at physical therapy, and um, the little home workouts that they gave me has been working so i'm hoping that these 13 sessions well 12 now sessions of physical therapy can really help me get out of this lymphedema but i will update you guys on how i feel after and um i am dressed in all black because i have to go straight to work after work oh after this so i'm hoping i'm not that stinky I'm usually generally not but you just never know what to expect right i don't know but anyways yeah i'll update you guys on how this physical therapy was is oh and the weather is still so trash it's just been raining like crazy so hopefully when i drive to work the rain's not too bad because the rain when i went to um kailua for millie's birthday was just awful awful okay guys so I'm at work and I'm just on break now. Um, but my first experience with PT was okay. Um, I felt like a lot of the people at PT were definitely more interested in me and what I do. Um, a lot of the things that we did at PT, about half of them, I actually do them already with the workouts they wanted me to do at home. Um, besides adding in some like bicycle training, balance training, and I never realized something as basic as balancing um, was that difficult. And when you have your foot down and your toes, they want you to do this exercise where you flex your toes up. I'm having, you see how my hand is? Like I had 
um, my coworkers do it and they can fully flex up their foot like mine goes up like that so it is very hard for me right now so that's one thing that I do want to work on but my next PT is on Friday so I'm going to continue to do my at-home workouts um, so I can progress further I did purchase some workout bands recently so um, I use that today for my PT so I want to do that and then I'm just going to enjoy lunch I have my Wu Ta and I have half of my sandwich from the subway but I'm not even that hungry. Oh, but my coworker just came back from Las Vegas. So she got us these dark chocolate covered pretzels. Thank goodness, dark chocolate. And then um, these mandarins. I had these before, I bought these before. These are really good. Um, but I think the sugar level, yeah, is pretty high on these. So I can maybe have like one or two. And then, um, one of my old co-workers came in and he also brought us Trader Joe's. One is gone already. They were like those maple cookies and they were so good. I only ate one. Two in total, I think, for one like every lunch, but they were gone. And then these are really good too. So I love Trader Joe's on my upcoming trip. We plan already on frequent frequenting Trader Joe's, but that's it. And this is probably going to be the end of the vlog, guys, because Friday is here already. Well, coming very soon, and I have to upload this on the Friday, of course. So until next time, guys, have an Aloha Friday, and I will see you next Friday. And I totally noticed, and I didn't post a video on Monday. Honestly, weather has been crap. It's been shit. You probably had seen it in this vlog that you've seen that it's been rainy, so... But there was a lot to cover in this video anyway. And yep, yeah, until next Friday. Bye.